It's the oldest house in uh, Salem as it relates to the Salem Witch Trials. It's the second oldest maintained, col maintained. European colonial cemetery in the country. Okay. But apparently this uh, house was in the movie Hocus Pocus. Those second story windows are where the murder happened. It's a public building that's been mothballed. One of the things I'm doing this morning is going out, <clears throat> checking out the architecture all by myself where everybody gets ready. There's a lot of uh, historic buildings. This is where we're staying at on the third floor. This is the John Peabody house. Uh, John Peabody was a merchant in Salem. It was built in 1868, I believe. And I'm coming up on the witch house. This is gonna be my first location I'm going to. Okay, this is the John Ward house. It's the oldest house in uh, Salem as it relates to the Salem Witch Trials. They said that they dated the, the house um, 1684. This is called the Witch House because it is the home of one of the judges by the name of Judge Jonathan Corwin that resided at this residence. They actually dated the house by timber uh, testing and they, they found that the timbers uh, came from Maine, which is uh, important to note because all the, the deforestation of this area was relevant even back then. We're gonna go in this uh, later today. This is a uh, post-medieval architecture. Steep pitch. The cellar. These graves uh, represent the 19 people that were hanged during the Salem Witch Trial.
say that this is the second oldest grave site in the United States. I'm not sure if you can go in here or not. Hey, you guys open this up? We will. Ten oh, really? o'clock. Really? Yep. Ten so o'clock. They said that this is the second oldest grave site. So, it's the second oldest maintained, col maintained. European colonial cemetery in the country. Okay. So, because if you think about it, there's, I mean, before us, there were the, there were the French, Canada, mm -hmm. and the Spanish, and but they're not, some of those were gone. They're all gone. They were older, yeah. but they're gone. So like it's a, like a fully always maintained. So King's Chapel, Boston, about 1632. That's older. We're 1637. 1637. Right? Yep. So it's all we, we've always been open, always kind of maintained, full cemetery. Even though no, last person interred here is 1896, but still, even since then, maintained. So it depends on kind of how you word it. What's the oldest grave in here? Oldest grave is 1637. Sir. 1637. Okay. That's not oldest grave stone. That's what I meant. You, well, no. Well, you didn't say that. Okay. You said grave. Yeah. 1637. Oldest surviving legible grave stone. See how I'm wording it? Is 1673. Okay. Now, are there ones older? Maybe. Uh, that can't be proven. I'm a historian. Show me the facts. Yeah, I hate fake news. I hate stories and internet and all that crap that's not true i like true stuff um when you go in you'll be able to take video it's okay fine. i was because i no, wasn't like no but no tripods yeah. are permitted you can never block a path from somebody Just, anyways 10 o'clock we open i gotta get in there to check it out so you work you work in here building. no i work for the city oh, okay we the city own this in conjunction with the peabody essex museum we own this this here well, yep, in conjunction with the Peabody Essex Museum. And then they own that. They own these buildings. We operate that building for them during the day. And what's that one? So you're going to find out. I, I got to get going. Okay. You're going to find out. You got to appear at Invasions, my friend. <laughs> so you'll find out when you go there. Thank you. Yep. We got to get open or we're not going to open. <laughs> So this is the Samuel Pinkman house. This is the oldest. The building in Salem that's sitting on its existing foundation. It's kind of bowed. Medieval architecture again. Said that the timbers were dated in this home in the 1670s. 
and the timbers were all white oak. My next house is the Gardner Pingree House, built in 1849. Um, this isn't part of the Salem witch trials, but it's part of uh, a murder mystery that happened in Salem. Uh, they got a lot of attention. Um, the courtroom proceedings, some people say, are part of uh, Edgar Allan Poe's uh, poetry. And they believe that this house is uh, part of the motivation of the game Clue, because the Parker brothers were from this location. Those second story windows are where the murder happened of a merchant captain that bought this home from its original owners. So it's Edgar Allan Poe's A Telltale Heart is what they say. This murder investigation was based on. This location here is where the brothers that murdered uh, the ship's captain are supposedly lived. Shed Bentley House. This is the Robes Mansion. It was right next to the um, witch house. I'm not sure if this is original location, but apparently this uh, house was in the movie Hocus Pocus. And part of the history of Salem.
is cool. I just find it interesting how excellent the architecture and the court buildings are for Salem, given its past. Go. Superior Court. This doesn't look good. It's a public building that's been mothballed. Here again. I find that strange. There we go. Let's see. Thank you. 